everybody, Andy Trice back again, and uh, this time I want to show you Adobe Edge Inspect. If you haven't seen it yet, Edge Inspect is a tool that will allow you to um, have a synchronized browsing experience across both the desktop and mobile devices. Now, this is really, really useful in the case that you're trying to test a, an HTML experience across lots of different mobile devices, because you know, each device could ha ha has a perhaps a different screen resolution, um, you know, different pixel density, uh, basically different form factor. And if you're trying to test it on a lot of different devices, there can be lots of repetitive steps. Say I want to go to you know, page A on, and, and then page B, then page C on, let's say, 10 different devices. You know, that's three, step, three steps on 10 different devices. That's 30 different steps you'd have to do in order to test that scenario on all the different devices you have. What Edge Inspect allows you to do is to streamline this entire process. So the content that's being viewed on the mobile devices is actually driven by the desktop browser. Now, it works, uh, it's a kind of a three-part system. You have the native app that's running on the devices. You have um, a background communication process that runs on the desktop. And you also have a Google Chrome plugin. And what happens is the content from the, the Google Chrome browser through the Chrome plug plugin uh, determines what's going to be presented on the different mobile devices. So let me go ahead and just get started. I've already got everything set up and running here. So uh, here I have a, a Nexus 7 tablet, Android tablet, an iPhone, a Motorola Atrix, Android phone, and an iPad. And I'm going to go ahead. Uh, these ones are already running Edge Inspect. I'm going to go ahead and launch it now. So Edge Inspect is here. It's going to see that my laptop is running. I'm going to go ahead and try to connect to that. Oh, it needs confirmation, so I will do that. Three, four, one, four, one, six. Okay, so now all these devices have been registered with Ed Edge Inspect running on the desktop. Now, let me go ahead and enable Edge Inspect, and you're going to see that whatever I'm viewing in the desktop browser is now going to be pushed down to the devices. Okay, so we have it here. You can see that all of them are viewing html.adobe.com. If I go ahead and click on our mission, you're going to see that all these devices are then going to show the our mission page. Uh, likewise, I'm going to go ahead and click on Edge Tools and Services, and you'll see that all the different devices are now showing the Edge Tools and Services page. So just by driving the experience through the desktop browser, I'm able to test on all these different devices. And now, let's say you ran into a problem on one particular device. In this case, I'll pretend that a problem is happening on the iPad experience. I can go ahead and First of all, here's the iPad. If I want to view the code that's actually running in the browser for that, I can go ahead and do so. So it's going to take a moment to connect to the remote session that's actually running on the, on the iPad. So I can go ahead and inspect the HTML DOM. And when I do that, you can actually see that when I mouse over elements in the desktop, uh, you know, viewing the code here, that it's actually highlighting those elements here in the, on the mobile device. And let's say if I wanted to go ahead and test a few things, like there's a CSS style that's not displaying correctly, or if I want to modify the CSS and see what kind of an impact it's going to have on that mo mobile device. Let's say, uh, just to, to, to demonstrate the purpose, let's say I want to change things. I don't want everything to display, so I'll set display as none. I hit enter, and you can see everything basically displayed or disappeared from the interface on the mobile device. And, and I'm able to do all this just by controlling the experience through the desktop. I can go ahead and re-enable that and you can see it came back. Uh, I'm able to do DOM inspection, CSS inspection. I can view the console. So if there's console log statements, I'd be able to see those. I can see different resources that, that are uh, being consumed on the device. This experience right now doesn't show any, but, but basically it gives you a richer set of web inspection and debugging tools for the experience that's happening on those remote devices. Now, the other thing that's really cool about Edge Inspect is that I can go ahead and let's say there's a problem and I want to capture it and I want to document it uh, to take back to my designer and say, hey, things aren't displaying correctly on a certain device or a certain aspect ratio. I can go ahead and click the request screenshot button. And what it just did was take a screenshot from all the different devices that are connected. And now I'll go ahead to the screenshots folder and you can see here is a screenshot from all the devices that were captured. So that this is the iPad screenshot. So it actually took a snapshot of what's being displayed currently on the iPad. And then you can also, if I go ahead and open the text file that's associated with it, it's going to show me, um, go ahead and zoom in here so you can see it. It's going to show me the device model, the device resolution, the operating system name, operating system version, the pixel densities, 
um, and URL for the page that's being viewed. So in a nutshell, that's a quick introduction to Adobe Edge Inspect. This is um, currently available on the free tier of Adobe Creative Cloud. You can learn more about it at html.adobe.com or creative.adobe.com. Thanks. Thank you.